Okay, so in this chapter, what we're going to be doing is cleaning up the Anhir artifacts. And also, we're going to be explaining just a few problems that you may encounter when doing so. So as you can see there, that's what we're going to be cleaning up. So let's jump right into it, starting now. So first things first, let me jump into perspective view so you can see what I'm talking about. It's those little artifacts right there that we need to clean up. So let's do a couple of things first. First, let me turn off the May body layer, the hair cap, poly layer. What I need to do right now is select all of those right there. And then I'm going to isolate the selection so it's only the center bangs. That we'll be working on. So I'm going to select that. So we got that there. Now, of course, we need to get rid of that. Now, problem number one. You're probably thinking that you should maybe delete the entire hair system. Here's what will happen. You'll remove the curves and pretty much everything. So that's problem number one. You don't want to do that. All you simply need to do is just select the paint effects and delete it from your outliner. So all that's going to be left are the curves. Secondly, we need to unparent this before we can begin. And also, you're going to want to delete history because once history is still attached, you're going to run into a couple of problems. So. To avert those problems, we're going to delete the history. Next up, let's see what's causing the problem that we had originally. So what I'm going to do is select by component type, which is that button right there. And of course, if you look closely, just zoom in so you can see it, you're going to see three curves that that one there, that one, and this one in particular that are totally different from all of the others. That's because they're facing the wrong direction. We need them to look like those. So let's deal with that right away. Just need to make sure that those are the same ones we selected. So it's that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so let me select that. One, two, and three. So we got the three that we need to edit. So let me just go into our modeling mode here. And I'm going to go up to curves. Tear that off for a second because I'm going to be using that maybe more than once. So you can see here, I'm going to component edit mode. Those are the three. What I'm going to do is select reverse direction. Or it could be found on the curves and reverse direction, as you can see right there. So let's select reverse direction. And when we do, you can see that it's facing the correct direction as the others. So that one problem has been dealt with. Let's get to the other one. So let me just zoom in there for a second, frame in for a second. And let's see which ones we need to edit. So it's those three in the center. So let's deal with those right there. Let me just make sure. Yes, those are the correct ones. And let me just reverse the direction on those. And there you go. It's back to normal. Last but not least, let's see if the other one has the same thing too. Let's see, does it? Let's frame in and component editing mode and uh, no actually this one's fine all right so that's problem uh, number two so first up let me just select all the codes that are associated and let's talk about uh, another problem that we may be facing so let me just close that off for a second. The next problem that you're most likely going to face 
is, let me tune everything back on while I talk about this, is going to be, and uh, let me turn off, I have to isolate selected. So you got your curves back to the way that you need them, which is all of them facing the correct direction. And you're going to jump back into FX mode. Now the next thing that you're going to be thinking is that you're going to go in and assign the same hair system. I'm just tearing that off just to show you what I'm talking about. And you're probably going to assign the same hair system and so forth. Therein lies the problem. Now remember, paint effects is going to keep the same uh, same hair system, same curve direction that we had originally. So let me show you what I mean. So we've assigned the same hair system that we had originally. So as you can see that, and now when I go up to, well, I'll select the hair cap, and then I go to create hair. So I'll just close that off for a second. Then I'll move that across. And now we're going to reassign the same hair system that we had originally. So you can see problem number three. So there it is, me front bangs. And when I click create hair, you notice that it goes back to the same way. It's going to keep the original information that I had before. So what we need to do is to create a new hair system. I mean, we could all delete that later on, but uh, actually, you know, let me delete all of that too. Same thing applies for the assign hair system and the create hair. So let me go back a few steps. There we go. So I'm going to create a new hair system and I'm going to create a new paint effects hair. So new hair system has been created. And now let me create a new hair. Where is that new hair system? There you are. So that one is highlighted. There we go. So now, as you can see, there is no oddities, no artifacts showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select a hair system. Which one is it? Uh, oh, yeah, we had it selected before. There we go. And then I'm going to just go to our preset. So let's see. I shall use that one. That one is actually much better. And there we go. And as you can see, there are no artifacts showing up. And all we simply did was change the direction of the curves that were causing that problem to begin with. As you can see, that's basically how to go about fixing that. So, uh, let me just rename this center underscore bangs. There we go. And of course, you could go ahead and proceed to reshape as you see fit. But that's relatively how you would clean up the artifacts that would pop up in your hair. Now, it may not happen all the time, but there is going to come a situation where it may actually happen. This would be the way, the easiest way to solve that problem. And in our next chapter, We'll be showing you how to create an end cache for your hair simulations. So let's get started.